Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fun 4, Fuhler Reich as France. Let's continue on for the last half off. So things, they've been going up and they've been going down. We're kind of in a situation where, uh, I think we're, we are slightly losing, which is not great. Um, the British, the Italians, the Russians, nobody else wants to help us. So it really is just a one-on-one -on -one fight, which is not great. I mean, technically we're allied to Belgium and Luxembourg, and I guess that's okay, kind of. Uh, you guys need to stretch out your front line. I can't even see where your other edge here is. Come over here to help defend this area, please, and thank you. You guys up towards the north. Somehow they're still not taking over Williamshaven yet, but, you know, I'm sure they will in due time. And the British have, like, they've sent us volunteers. I just don't know when they are going to, um... I see even send units to Strasbourg. There we go. We got one infantry, which is nice. Is there anybody I can upgrade? I can upgrade you. What do I have? You know, defensive doctrine? I, I think that's what we gotta go for. Even though we did choose all the offensive upgrades for our uh, focus tree. Right now, I think that extra 30% dig in bonus probably means significantly more to us. We can dig in. Hold the line for a bit. Like, I'm not super, super worried that Germany can actually break through. I feel like we're in a decent defensive position right now. I don't want your units. I'm more worried that maybe Italy just declares war to take over these areas that they've claimed from us, which would be bad. Or if I can somehow get more um, Entente Confidence, so I actually can make a big faction with some more people, that would also, I think, help me out a decent amount as well. Are you... No, you're two different lines. Okay, we'll stretch you guys out like this. Shrink you down slightly like that. Okay, you two go to this province to try to defend it. We should... I mean, do you have a fort? You do not have a fort, but you are at least taking a river crossing penalty, so that should help us out a little bit here. You guys have a little six defenses. We are still not actually holding out that well. No, you see, I still want you here. And if we can have defensive lines against you... It should mean that France shouldn't fall. Because we really only need to put units in here. I guess you want to defend this area as well. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, Tunisia. Your troops are garbage. I do I do not want them. I appreciate the, uh, the attempt, but I really don't think it makes a lot of sense for what we're doing right now. Right now, do they have any planes in this area? They have a handful, yes. Close air support. You should be here. Yeah, just do something like this. So most of our units are having, like, decent air support. The handful that our troops are actually within the German airspace. Unfortunately, we can't do too much with them for now. Also, what did you do? You gave us, I think, some defensive boost? Organization. Blitzkrieg? No. Don't think that's what we want. Well, it's 1940. Do we, is there anything we can get that's basically just a cheap upgrade? You're way too expensive, I think, for right now. I guess we're going to go for the atomic research just so that we can um, get a research boost out of it. Probably the best option we have, unfortunately. You are a level 2 fortification. I mean, it's been damaged a little bit. We did lose a submarine, which is not great. How many boats do you guys have, by the way? You have 36, probably like 50 boats. Which is not a ton. You guys are doing some reforms. I mean, you're doing anti-Bolshevik pact, which is... Some, da, 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 where is that even in the list? I don't actually know. I thought... Okay, it's right there, actually. So what are you going to do? Because I want you... Your bonus to research, bonus to research. Is there anything that's actually just a flat upgrade? Not really, so I guess we're going to do some, ex uh, like some African... Upgrades, that seems like an okay place for us to start. But I will take your single aircraft. Thank you, my friend, for your massive economic support. I mean, Germany is losing a lot of men. I mean, we're also losing a lot. There's there's no doubt about that. And they, they do outnumber us. So, like, really... 1.2... I mean, apparently we can overall outnumber them with all of our allies, but... 
You know, that's not saying too, too much. But when we can do a counterattack, we should be looking in a much better position. Japan's looking pretty strong. But I don't think there's any situation where Japan and Germany go to war. It's much more likely that Japan just invades us, which would make our bad situation, I would uh, happen to say, probably make our situation worse. We need any equipment. Not really, so let's go for some more fighters. More aircraft, I think, would also would be you know quite nice for us. I mean... Why do you all hate me so much? That's what I don't get. I don't know what I've really done to, um... Garner this amount of hatred. How much manpower do I have? I have 710,000. Germany is still over a million. And our manpower is dropping fast. So we probably need to actually crank you, unfortunately, up to service by requirement. Just so we have enough uh, manpower to do anything. Let me see. I mean, you guys are running a little bit low. Can I? Do I have any any information about your stockpile right now? I do. You don't have any infantry equipment. So that's good. That's good to note. I mean, how many factories do you guys have again? You have. Why do I still have so much information from combat? Okay. You do just outnumber us in terms of factories as well, and that's dangerous. We are slowly trying to build up. They really tried to build level 10 force across the entire border. That seems maybe a bit overkill. Let's delete these forts for now. And you're trying to build whatever you can. Let's just say one more level on each one. Going up to like level 6 is going to be I think, a little bit too expensive. And once that's done... More military factories. Unfortunately, I gotta put them down towards the south, even though Spain easily could come and try to kill me, which would be bad. I mean, it doesn't look like we're losing any combats, which is nice. But if Germany does just like run out of manpower, they're at 1.8 million casualties, we're at 451. I mean, they're not great numbers. But I do think Germany is losing slightly more than we are. But if we can actually take this one province. We're going to try a basic counterattack and see if we can actually take over here. Because we can take this area. It does shrink our front line down considerably. We're at 90, 99. Fantastic. Okay. So even just taking that one province frees up so many troops for us. A recent arms sale. I don't know who are, who are we selling guns to in this situation. Seems like that might be a mistake. Is there any actually railroads, artillery? We've already done the offensive. What can we do here? Building slots, 10,000 manpower. You're basically garbage, and I don't want any of that. I guess we'll go for the research bonus to infantry equipment. I think that seems okay. All things considered. But like Britain and like Italy, you really have no no intention. Twelve divisions from you, not right now. I can take them in the future if I need them. Like if we start attacking against you, some of you guys are considered in multiple combats, but that should end very soon. So if we can make some basic pushes into Germany, which we're, which we're actually able to get done here. Can you attack into here? You cannot. So let's see what we can get done. Because I think down here towards the south, this just needs to hold for now. And if we can make some movements up in the north... Maybe then we can get something done. So, I mean, our attack values is not too, too bad. But, of course, us being on the offensive... Uh, send two tanks to you, because you do need reinforcement. Send units there. You're already reinforcing that. See if you can actually hold on to the line. And we are making some gains. 
which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We need any of you? You know what? War support. Yeah, we'll go for it. I think that seems okay for now. What about you? Let's see if we can make some progress in these regions. We should be able to push through all of these guys. Once you're done being attacked, I think you actually just counterattack into this dude. Then one reinforcement down to there. You're looking good for now. At 9370. Just hold your position. Okay, but I mean, taking even a handful of provinces, I think, is more than okay. I'm not training any more troops up. I think what we have now is really going to be the best we're going to have for a while. Is this not connected to this province? Yeah, connect to here, please. These guys might be considered in multiple combats. And both of you... Yeah, move in like this. I mean, you're doing a little bit of sabotage down towards the, uh, in the, in the Netherlands. But that's okay. I'm sure that is absolutely fine. So we're going to get a handful of battles done here. But again, if you don't have infantry equipment... This is, it really is about one of the best times that we could possibly strike. So 81 here. Dortmund. I mean, just if any other front line could be open against Germany, our situation would improve dramatically. you connect to any other province? I don't think so. I think you only connect to here. Something did happen, I think. Maybe. And the game did pause, which usually indicates that something might have happened. Let's just, you know, let's just not worry about Japan. Japan scares me enough that I don't want to even think about it. Okay, you guys are making some progress. And if we can shrink our front line, that's going to be nice. And of course, uh, apparently we can't go over 100% um, production efficiency cap, so we might as well get these researches anyways. And aside from that, do not get military police, that's dumb. Go for better recon company. You're very expensive, but I still think it might be worthwhile. else we can really make some maneuvers. And taking Dortmund would be nice. Now that we got better rifles, you are a bunch of researches, which is, you know, it's okay. A little bit of resources for our puppet states. I'm sure it's not going to be game-changing, but it's better than absolutely nothing. The problem is now we're actually attacking into fortifications. Like this one, for example. Like, these fortifications that we built. And we're now getting, a. Uh, a little bit of trouble over it. Got three units here. Blue line's pretty long. Stretch purple to be further north. I think that's okay for now. Let's try to look. Because any amount of progress is good, of course. They have 41. Like, these areas are very, very well defended. Like, how, how do you open up another front? Because, again, we, like, we can't get you in, into the faction. And I don't think we're allowed to even... Nobody's allowed to join factions. What if we attacked against you. Hold this infantry back. Hold these infantry back. We're at 50%. So we can maybe go back up to Williamshaven. Open up this front line a little bit. Because, I mean, our numbers look pretty good. 
And now they're actually no longer in the Benelux. We probably should send our planes up towards you. This is where most of our current combat is actually going on. So, send the tanks here. Send you here. Send you here. Send you there. Send you there. You here. You there. And just try to gain a little bit of ground wherever we possibly can. There's going to be multiple combats. Getting some movement here. And it's nice. I mean, just letting Germany, of course, just constantly attack into us. Does kind of break the AI a little bit. Because they do... Um, they don't do so well with not wasting all of their manpower and supplies trying to kill you. Why don't we try to push away into Bremen? You push here. These tanks push your way into this guy. And something like this. Because you're breaking apart. Once you're there, go here. And this I would consider progress. We are losing... A handful of defensive battles, but that should kind of resolve itself soon enough. What if you go over to Hanover? You go to here. One tank drives up to that province. You guys try to fight your way into here. And that should give us some pretty decent ground. By the way, can I get a brand new unit? Just, I guess, of Belgian troops, because they seem to be the let... You would not say yes. You need a front line, right. Uh, like, just, let's say, right here. Belgium would let me have two. The Czechs don't have an army. Not French into China. They can keep whatever troops they have. I guess we'll send like another 19 divisions up towards the north. You don't have a general. Do I actually have a general free? I do. But Charles, uh, Charles de Gaulle in charge of here. That seems like an okay plan. What are you guys attacking? You're not attacking anything, actually. It's just my puppet states... Or my allies trying to do some maneuvers that I do not necessarily agree with. You push here. Send some more units up. You can try to push your way down towards that. And because Germany's moving all these troops up north, these areas in the south are also significantly um, more open. There's a lot of German troops right here. So what if you all go to Bremen and up and around? And try to kill these guys off. Send you over here. One infantry actually goes to support that. Yeah, now this is... This is what you like to see. Not push against the south, though, quite yet. How is some um, aircraft doing in the north? Not great. So send everybody up to North Germany. Do not know what you I did the wrong thing. Yeah, you're supposed to be here. Yeah, so you guys fly here. You're too overcrowded, so you can fly. Oh you have you have a large range. You can fly there and be fine. You're okay where you are. Okay, things are actually looking. Pretty, pretty on the up and up right now. Then some tank units in there. Push you guys in with another tank support. And so far, we're at 2.5 million dead for Germany. Just a little over half a million for us. So, I mean, the war is going so much better, actually. Like, I was really, really worried that we would just end up eating shit. But no, we're actually... In a pretty okay situation, I would say. The British and the Italians or the Soviets, none of them have done anything to support us. But that's okay. We don't need them. We're doing pretty well on our own. 
By the way, you guys should... We don't have a red army yet, so you can be the red army. Your job is to spearhead your way straight to Berlin, which you've almost actually arrived in. Sure, you know what? My allies, of course, can have some more factories. That seems okay. All of you only border one province. So let's see if we can actually get a surround on those guys if we can. Then do you here. Then do you towards the north. Then one tank to support. You guys go here. You guys go here. And do something like that. Get a handful more combats up and running on the fields. Doing not so great in these northern provinces, but... And Monarchy of Spain has capitulated. So what? Do you have an ability? Like, what all, like, joins? Hmm. I am still, of course, worried about what the Spanish might do. How many supplies do I have? I have a bunch of infantry equipment. So there's four provinces here. Let's train up eight. And I'll just have those guys deploy as soon as I can. Just so I can at least have some buffer against the Spanish. Otherwise, we might have a handful of problems. You push here. You push here to make the front line a little bit bigger. More close air support seems good. We do need some rubber. We'll get that, of course, from our little puppet state. Thank you very much. At 79, you're at 50. So you're not going as great as you could be, but you're still doing okay. And how long would it take for you guys to actually deploy? May 12th for full organization, but I think I'm just going to deploy you almost as soon as I can. Attention. And you know what? Put both of you guys underneath the field marshal just because you might as well have one. Attention. Yeah, so I just have two of those. Just to defend against Spain in any kind of. No, I don't need your expeditionary force. At least not right now. So we're about to push our way through here. It's going to be one more province secured for us. And we're, we're close to Berlin. We, we are definitely getting there. But I think for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Now enjoy, throw some down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.